Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify uh, this expression, which I have negative times the square root of negative 36. Now, to simplify this expression, um, basically, you know, what we want to do is kind of eliminate, forget about thinking about the negative, taking the square root of a negative, because we know we can't take the square root of a negative in our real number system. However, if I was going to think of just taking about the basics of a square root of negative 1, we represent that as i. So the first thing I want to do is kind of forget about taking the square root of a negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as 36 times negative 1. Therefore, by using my rules of roots, I can now rewrite this into the negative times the square root of 36 times the square root of negative 1, where now I can rewrite the square root of negative 1 just as i. And now I just need to focus on what is the square root of 36. And I'm going to multiply that value times a negative. Um, or you could think of that as like a negative 1 times square root of 36. So what I notice is square root of 30, uh, 36 is a square number, meaning uh, the square root says what number multiplied by itself gives us 36. Well, this is a square number because we have an integer 6 multiplied by itself gives us 36. So therefore, the square root of 36 equals 6 multiplied by negative 1 and i gives us our final simplified expression. Thanks.